having all the pieces around to fit just yeah. that centre point, that is, that's difficult. Isn't it? What makes me come to Blackthorn? The people, for a start, I think Blackthorn is a place for community. It's a place about helping people get back to work, find friends. I've suffered with mental illness for about 10 years now. And because of that, I've sort of shut myself away. And the longer it's gone on, the harder it's been to sort of get out there and do things. And I thought this would be the best place to start. I was shocked, to say the least, when I came here and found out there's still nice people in the world. And there's no judgment. Everybody is given a blank sheet when they come here. My name's Jan and I shall be doing various things today around the place. Morning, I'm Rose, I'll be working in the garden. Morning everyone, I'm Colin, I'll be in the woodwork shop. Morning, I'm Rob, I'm in the woodwork shop. Morning, I'm Wendy and I'll be in the greenhouse. Morning, my name's Andrew, I'll be in the kitchen. Uh, for lunch we're going to have carrot soup, uh, sweet corn and cauliflower fritters with a bean sauce and rhubarb crumble. I've been here 10 years. Uh, it's a fantastic place to work. We cook vegetarian food, nearly all sourced from the garden. It's a holistic environment here, so the food plays a big part in that jigsaw. I used to work somewhere where they sold the bread from here, and I got to know someone that worked here. And um, I came in to the cafe, just popped in for a cup of coffee, I love the place instantly. I volunteered here for about a year and a half and got to know the staff here. And then when the job came up for the baker, uh, I applied. And although I wasn't a baker, they trained me up. And I've been here about two years now. I found Blackthorn very therapeutic, uh, very friendly, very supportive. And um, it's important for people like me who've had mental health problems to sort of slowly work my way back into the work process, sort of step by step. I'm learning new things every day. I mean, working out in the garden, I can use to, you know, work in my own garden at home and sort of use the skills that I've learnt there. When I first came to Blackthorn, I was quite a uh, shy person because of my illness. And um, I suffered quite a bit of anxiety and stuff like that. But being here, it's sort of, it's got better as time's gone on. So I found it very beneficial. So we can collect these up. Should we get a water in can? Yeah. Yeah. Two? And we, um, one should be enough actually. One. Okay. I'm not a therapist myself. I'm a gardener and I like to work with a team of people and, and pat it down with the others. It's nice and firm. The ethos of the work is that it's therapeutic to work with nature. We're not training people to be gardeners. I say that nature is the therapist and the work is the therapy. I um, sort of look up to Rose as a sort of supervisor. She um, explains what needs to be done and then if I need assistance in doing it, she'll show me how to do it and I can learn from her and I can do it myself. We're quite a family here, so we all help each other out. I mean, sometimes I get mistaken for a volunteer, so you can't really tell the difference between co-workers and volunteers because we're all so tight together. The first thing about Blackthorn is that when you originally come here, it's, it's quite a, a nurturing and caring environment. It gives you a place um, that's safe and away a little bit from the outside world, so you can get your head in order. do three days a week here now. The sort of team spirit, the camaraderie that you, you build up with your co-workers, that is really good. Ray, who runs the workshop there, is actually very good at teaching you without being patronising. You know, we've made benches, we've made doors, we've made all sorts of stuff here. So how does it work exactly? That really has brought me back to a place where I feel comfortable. 
working here where you're working with other people, you're helping them through their illnesses, you're showing them things in the workshop, how to work a machine or how to handle a chisel, whatever. And you can see their eyes light up when they finally grab it. And you get a buzz out of that. We have to be able to work as a team because if you've got a, a job that takes two or three people, you've all got to be working off the same hymn sheet because if you don't, that's when you get errors. The whole thing about Blackthorn is everybody helps everybody else. We support each other. It's a protected environment, which is good for a lot of the people who come here. At the same time, we do have a foot very much in the real world, which we're trying to take these people back into. And it can be very challenging. Uh, it's very challenging for the people who come here, challenging for the staff as well, because you're holding quite a delicate situation. You know, people come, paying good money, they expect a certain standard. And what did you want when you have pudding, please? And the coffee. And the white coffee. And the white coffee. Thank you. She's done a runner. Please enjoy it. Yeah, he's sorry. You bring it back. The point of our job in Workways is to prepare people to, to re enter the real world of, of work and give them the confidence to do that. The co workers here, they have formal reviews every three or four months and that's when we would set new targets for them but we constantly see them informally as we're walking around and um, just chat to them how are things going any thoughts of work um, or just updating whatever their plans were so we see them uh, quite frequently like that. I like doing the work the main thing and, and being around people at the same time um, it's sort of like getting me prepared for the outside world in a way. And we've got these um, Mexican hat plants to do. The volunteers that come along really help us and get us involved with the other people. After you've been here a few months, you really realise how much it's helped us in coming and getting out rather than staying at home where you just sit and sort of do nothing. The fruit mainly goes into preserves. The herbs is an, yet another project and they're drying herbs for teas and also making some oils and creams. We've been expanding the customer base so that we sell to a lot of farm shops and vegetable box delivery schemes. So it's great that we're making real food, but also helping people, basically. Once Blackthorn gets in your blood, it never gets out. When I finish here in September, I'll always be coming back as a volunteer because you get the importance of it stuck into you and everybody wants to support it. I don't know, it just works. I don't know why it works, but it does.